All right, so this is Alan Wake 2 running on the ROG Ally. This is the Z1 Extreme version. And this is the best settings I have come up with for the past hour, trying every possible combination, resolution, graphic settings. And this is what I came up with for the most stable frame rate and best quality. So you can see everything running on the side here. Let me show you what I have it running in first. This is unplugged. I have it on 25 watt manual and 25 watt manual this is my fan curve I don't know if you want to copy the fan curve it's fan 1 and 2 so yeah I just have everything turned up on manual I put manual that way I can have the fans flow a little faster because this game is crazy with the graphics and the amount of performance it takes so it might be running kind of hot if you don't have the uh, fan curve high. Okay. So these are the settings that I currently have. Okay, full screen, 720. Then you have um, the FSR2 settings to quality, which becomes 853 by 480. V-Sync off. These, these are personal preference. Uh, I don't like these two on. You can turn them on. It doesn't really make a difference in performance. But personally, I think it looks better with them off. And then quality is going to be custom because you're going to want to keep most things on low. So everything is on low except for text to resolution, medium. You want global illumination quality, medium. Shadow resolution low. Shadow filtering high. If you put medium, it's the same performance, so I suggest putting it high because the the shadows, they, they flicker if you put it on medium, so it looks a lot better on high. Shadow detail medium. Uh, keep this off, screen space, ambient occlusion. Uh, global reflections, low. You're going to see a huge difference if you take it off, but the performance is the same. It does look way better with it on low, so... If it's the same, you just keep it on low because it looks a lot better. The lighting, the bud, you'll 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 see the difference. But keep that low. Screen space reflections off. File quality medium, medium, medium. Scattered object density low. Everything under ray tracing is off. So make sure everything is off. Nothing checked here. And at these settings, you're gonna get the best quality and um, stable performance. So. With these settings, you have good quality, and you're not going to see anything under 30 frames, even unplugged. Unplugged, you might, well, unplugged, it'll go down to maybe like 28, max 27. Plugged, it won't go, it won't go under 30 at all. So it's this area, for some reason, where this tent is, it usually drops like 2 to 3 frames when it's uh, unplugged. But when it's plugged, I haven't had anything drop below 30 anywhere in this, this whole forest or woods. So, let me run back through there. I'm going to plug it in. And you're going to keep when it plugged in. I got manual, the same thing. Everything turned up. So, everything maxed out. This is my fan curve for turbo plug. In case you want to copy those. And you'll see now that nothing is going to drop below 30. Also have this as FPS limiter on 30. And the RSR off. I mean you could... Let me see if that makes a difference. Not really. Alright. Actually, it did make a, a big difference because I have the sharpening settings. Let me show you my AMD settings here. Because this is something else I did. Because you had a low resolution. Um... These are the settings that I have set up in AMD. Adrenaline. So super resolution on. Sharpening effect I have to 100. 
you can put that to like 80, anywhere from 80 to 100. Uh, Radeon Boost, I have that on. Nice more resolution and change, 16.7, which is the lowest. Uh, frame rate target control, 30. It's an alien multi sampling. And then everything else you can just copy from here. And close that out. So, yeah, when you have that um, AMD RSR in the AMD Adrenaline software, I would suggest putting it at 100 because it does make a huge difference. I forgot I had that off. So, yeah, I'm going to try to include some. Um, let me run back towards that tent just to show you. I'm going to try to run back. Uh, Run back and forth because it usually drops after I reach this corner and then turn around. But I will be uploading direct footage recorded straight from the ROG Ally. See, it's the same place before where I dropped down to like 28, 27, it stays on 30. On 29. This is pretty much stable. You don't get frame frame dips that uh, you don't get no stutters. If you run it like that, it should be fine. I haven't had an issue. It did take me a long time to come up with these settings, so hopefully this helped you. And enjoy the game. I haven't really played as much. This is only like literally like five minutes into the game, so. I hope it works for you guys. Let me know in the comments. Alright, so I started uploading direct footage because there's low bit rate and it's like all pixelated. I'm just going to show you what it looks like from here because this is the best, best way for you to see the quality with these settings.